guys, I'm Tim. I'm Jeff. I'm Dan. And I'm Spencer. And this is the Board Game Rundown. Today, we are going to talk to you about Deckscape Behind the Curtain by DV Giochi Games. It's Italian. That's probably pretty close. Yeah, Giochi. pretty good. Giochi. Uh, Giochi. Giochi. Uh, so really, this, I would say, is kind of a review of like all Deckscape games. Sure. How they play more so than any specifics about this thing. Right. Mm-hmm. So the idea is that this is an escape room in a box. And the a small box, a very small box, but that's all right because I believe that that I mean that just indicates that the price point is going to be great. Well, not just that; that's the point. The whole point is you can literally pull this out of your pocket when you're with friends and be like, "Hey, let's just play through an escape room." Right you know? now, yeah. the only drawback potentially is that really you're going to play it once. Um, sure, just like most escape room type stuff, right? Because yeah. then you yeah. know the answers. The nice thing about this, though, is it's it's regiftable. Yeah, you can reset yep. this deck very easily yeah. and mm-hmm. just hand it. Uh, to somebody else. So ideally what you do is you're going to open the box and basically the cards are numbered one through whatever and they are going to give you directions that you follow. So do not look through this deck. Don't shuffle the cards. It shows a number from 1 to 60 in the upper left corner. Uh, the card order has been altered. Ask a non-playing person to reorder the cards from 1 to 60 so you don't ac- accidentally see anything. Also though, just never be the jerk that doesn't put it back in order. <laughs> right. Yeah, we did put it all back in order. Be kind. Rewind. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> No, 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 no. Say nothing. That's, that's a spoiler. That's right, it is. No spoilers. It is. No spoilers. Never mind. We're going to blank you a lot. <laughs> no, shut up. <laughs> Don't say that. Uh, so it's one to six players, I believe. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Uh, yeah. Age is 12 to 99, yep. which is pretty broad. Uh, you probably could play this with somebody younger than 12 if you think that they're... Sure, hand them certain puzzles. And yeah. possibly someone older than 99. Possibly. Maybe. Possibly. Maybe. Uh, but yeah, so I mean, really, this is they they the puzzles start off relatively easy, yep, and then they Very ramp easy. up. Yeah, and it's the classic legacy mechanic where the card will say, "If you do this, flip the card," mm-hmm. or "If you do this, do this," and you literally just follow the card's orders, go through the deck as it says, just never do what it says not to do. Very, very simple. Just right. As and long when as you, you can read, when you think you've solved this, flip it. And exactly. then if, if you're wrong, uh, there's wah, potential wah. to get like an X. So you want to have a paper and pencil with you so you can uh, track your start time, uh, your finish time. Yep. And then you're going to mark the mistakes you make because those are penalties at yeah. the end for end game scoring, basically. And also, mm-hmm. uh, if you think it's going to be too hard. It has a cheat sheet that you can or cannot oh, look at. Which yeah. we totally forgot, we forgot about and never <laughs> used. So I guess that's good. We did solve it. It took us over an hour. Uh, Not too much, though. It took us like an hour and 18, I think. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and we're then, close to that. There may have yeah. been some penalties. And in, th- there was also there. a lot of, you know, there were five of us. There's a lot of some people joking around while other people are solving a puzzle, and then we'll hand off a different puzzle or something. Yeah. So we could have done it faster. We were just, I don't know. We were kind of rushing through fun. it, but trying to have fun at the same time. <laughs> right, right. No, I, I, overall, though, I had a very positive experience with this. Like, I think for me, uh, this is a great, like, party game mm-hmm. kind of uh, uh, thing. Uh, the, the price point is, f- for only getting one playthrough, the price point is fine. Because you're getting yep. an hour plus of entertainment, uh, usually with a big group of friends. And then it, I'm getting, then hand this to you know, my sister or somebody else, your parents, in-laws that haven't played it's it yet. It's a white elephant gift. And, and <laughs> you know, and they're going to get to play it. Yeah, my biggest positive probably is I really like escape room stuff. And the biggest problem I have, uh, or sorry, the biggest positive I have with this compared to some other ones that I've done is I genuinely feel like, while I, see, I was going to say I might not play it with all six, but at the same time we played with five and I felt like everyone could always be doing something. We mm-hmm. weren't necessarily always doing something because we're goofballs, but I felt like, <laughs> right. but I felt like we could have all been working on puzzles and doing stuff and community, like going off in pairs even maybe and working on stuff. And I never felt like there was a time where I was just sitting here and there was nothing I could be doing. I was just like, okay, did you guys solve it? Cause I'm just sitting here. Yeah, I there felt was like enough to do. Yeah. There, there was yeah. enough to do and keep everyone entertained. And I like that. I've played some other escape rooms in small boxes and stuff that, Felt like, you know, it might say like, oh, this plays two to five, but really don't play with more than three or maybe even two because you're going to have some people sitting. Right, right. Uh, uh, And then it's kind of those things where, okay, well, I'll solve this puzzle. And then since I had fun, I'll hand you the next puzzle and you can work. And it's nah, that sucks. (laughs) Right. So so I I liked that this felt entertaining the whole way through. And we all kind of, I think strangely somehow we all each solved at least one or two puzzles right it's like oh no no no, i got it i figured it out and and it worked and you're like oh yeah that's awesome it's a good feeling so so you're in the room and you're like (laughs) and and, and we might also all have gotten one wrong 
Probably. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I did. Sure. Uh-huh. Sure, Dan. <laughs> you going? You you're like, yeah. Just go ahead. That sounds good. Yeah, yeah. So by by I never do you that. You were like, no, no. I told you not to do that. So Jeff <laughs> wanted in on this review specifically. Yeah. So okay. You're gonna just spoil the whole thing? No, no, oh, no. Okay. I, I'm gonna be as vague as possible. Okay. With this, I will. I will but just yeah. get the elbow ready. Yeah. Yeah. Nudge me if I if you think I'm saying anything spoilery. But like, I I also like no. <laughs> <laughs> I also like point and click games, and I feel like this is something that's like close to like a point and click oh, game. Sure. I agree. On a board game, and one thing I don't really like about point and click game is when uh, I'm not saying that this does it a lot, but I feel like it came close, to point close sometimes to where uh, there were logic puzzles that didn't exactly. Um, you could overthink some of the logic puzzles. Yeah. It, it may, and yeah. I feel like one or two of the puzzles not giving anything away uh, did not – the the solutions weren't exactly clear to, to you. Like sometimes, Oh, sure. Like how they got this. How did they get that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I like having some that are more difficult, and yeah. you might be like, oh, I got that. So, I mean, or, it's the potential or, of you're, you're reading the clues wrong. I would, not, I, not, no. e- not even that, but maybe necessarily like – specific clues weren't given to make the solution clear. Sure, sure, yeah, sure, 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 sure. Yeah. Like what exactly you're looking for. Sure. Yeah, I uh, also think part of that is because we were slightly rushing. If we were that all could just be sitting too. here But the whole game yeah. is timed, so. Right, Correct, it was timed. But the, but the game being timed was much less important than us being timed. You know, like. Right, but I do. Well, I was playing the. I was playing at a heightened speed because I was trying to get it done in an hour. <laughs> Because I knew that that was going to affect our score. I guess I'll say though, Tim, you might be a little too serious about this. <laughs> if you're like <laughs> well, really like, hurry up! The game said we have an hour. <laughs> I didn't and, say that. I don't. There, think, there's at least not in that tone. Yeah, yeah. And, and there were like two instances again. Not going to say what. Where we kind of solved the puzzle, but not the way the Correct. game was. Right. Which is a slight problem when it comes to puzzle solvers. There should never yeah. be more than one solution. <laughs> <laughs> that gets no, to the right answer. We just got to the right answer by doing something that they didn't think of. No, or we did. Maybe we did do way. one the wrong way and still came up with the right answer. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. So that shouldn't technically be possible. Yeah. Um. And again, like in something, in something think, like a uh, in like a actual point and click video game, that's not really an issue. Right. And it's I like, think no, you can't do that. Programs. And there yeah. was <laughs> one puzzle that actually had multiple solutions, and we couldn't decide which was the one that they were asking for. Right. Yeah. Right. And I think that any puzzle should have one clear solution. Yeah. That's not my. Make so, it, not in the so beginning. That's not, when that's it's revealed, you should all be yeah. like, oh, that's how we do it. But sure. when this one was revealed, we're like, no, that we were trying to interpret. still doesn't make sense. And that, that, that's basically my issue with the game. I and think if you go through a game and you've got one clue that or one puzzle that you're like, mm, yeah. I don't know. And it's not necessarily like a... You a, can like eat a, that because like out a, of all the other yeah, ones. Yeah. But, yeah, and yeah. again, that's really hard to mitigate. Like you're trying to do an escape room in a box yeah. that is generic enough, but still also precise yeah. enough. And remember, this was just. And I want to say too, that's that not this. that's not an issue with this specifically. It's an issue just across boards sure. of sure. So escape yeah. room. Type I think games. that's I think that's yeah. fair critique. Um, but so let's uh, let's give it a uh, let's give it a rundown rating. Uh, sure. Between so, one and ten. So the board game rundown rates things. We all rate it individually, and then we will average the score together to give it one rating for the show itself, and that is the sh- uh, the rating that we will give you. So one to ten, we just stick with like BGG standard. Yeah, one to ten, and we I think uh, we do do point fives, but we don't do anything crazier than that because it makes the math hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> math is hard <laughs> enough. Uh, Jeff, do you want to go first? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, I'll go first. <laughs> okay, Spencer. I'm going to give this one a six. Uh, maybe it's a little low for you guys. I did have fun. So I feel like that is low. but well, yeah. I had fun with it, <laughs> but at the same time, I was not like riveted the whole time. Sure. Um, and there were a few little problems with some of the things that were frustrating. Um, but overall, it's pretty well done. All right. Now, so you give it a six. Do you, would you play another one? Yeah, I think I probably would. So we brought one out like of a different theme yeah. or sure that whatever. could be literally all it is, is because the like frame. there's other games that are modular sort of like this yeah. that have that issue right like yep. like yeah. I really like this one but skip this one exactly but this I one's really good as a genre I would give the genre a higher rating than a six I okay. think this one is is decent um, but I think there are probably better ones 
I'm not trying to you know, bash oh, you're, on anything. No, or, you're fine. Um, okay. That's and fine. I would also love to try one of the ones where you do actually end up tearing things apart sure. and stuff. Mm, sure. I haven't tried those yet. All right. Uh, I'm on a similar, not score-wise, but a similar mindset of him to where, obviously, judging deckscape is much different than judging this one. Yeah. Um, so as far as judging this one, I think I come down on a seven. Um, I like games like this quite a bit. Um, you know, again, I just, I, I hate the feeling of being rushed, whether it's in the game or out of the game. Um, and, and games like these always rush you, right? So I'm always going to have that slight thing in the back of my head of like, I'd, I'd really just like to chill and like solve this and be like, that was fun. <laughs> but instead it's like, well, you didn't solve it fast enough. <laughs> you know? and, and well, the, the scenario me. presents also a sense of urgency because yes. of things that are yes, happening that's true. in the Without scenario. spoiling, you're correct. Yeah, so it's thematic that it's, right. it's timed as well, right. which is good. That's that's a props it's too. It's on theme. But, but I think, yeah, I think I'm going to come down on a 7. I could see myself going 7.5, but I think for this one individually with the theme that it had, um, I'm giving this one a 7. I am actually a slightly stronger than him. I'm looking forward to playing more of these a lot because yeah. I love this kind of stuff. Yeah. I've played a couple, like I said, small ones like this. I love this idea. I've heard of Deckscape for a while. I haven't right. had a chance to play one. Right. I was really glad I had the chance to play it because I love this idea of it's just a deck of cards and you're going through it and it's a it's a story that you're playing through and an escape room you're getting out of right. and stuff. And I, I love that kind of mm-hmm. stuff. So, so yeah. Jeff. Yes. Jeff. So this might be shocking, and I was kind of shocked. My score is going to be higher than Spencer's. Okay. All right. It's coming down at a seven. A okay. seven. All right. Yeah. And it was all right. Like I like I mentioned earlier, I think some of the puzzles could be a little more, uh, like telling you like. Give giving you all the stuff you need to solve. A it little without, more clear on yeah. what you're trying to figure out. Yeah. Cause, your cause, goal. Yeah. Sure. That's true. I just don't see this as like, okay, guys, we brought five rocket scientists into a room. We have to solve this. <laughs> you know, this is like a, yeah. oh, I'm playing with my yeah. 10-year-old, and I'm also playing but, with my grandma. Yeah. For, versus like know? like some of the other like escape room kind of sure. decky stuff like that I've played. Sure. Uh, it's It seems to be on average with those, Okay, I want to say. Uh, it doesn't sound like you're just a huge fan of the whole genre. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. So, so for me... I'm taking two things into consideration for my rating. Mm-hmm. Uh, one is the overall deckscape, like that yep. kind of experience, right? Which I'll say that score is going to be higher for me. Yeah, definitely. I would uh, definitely get that one a higher. Score. Mixed in with this one specifically, right? Because this mm-hmm. is the one we played. This is the only deckscape game I played, but I played other escape room esque sure. scenario, you know, card games, yep. right? Like the ones where you tear up. And you, mm-hmm. yeah. you do so. Again, I think we already mentioned this, but one of the nicest things about this is how, you know, you just, when you're done, you're like, that was fun. My brother would really like this. Package it up and give it right. to me. Right. So. And unlike you, mm-hmm. I love a sense of urgency. Yeah. I like the pressure. <laughs> I like the ticking clock. See, I do that, sometimes. Oh, I love it. Like, I don't know. Like, I just really love games where it's like, like, we're almost there. Even if it's not really there, like, if you just feels like. Sure. So, so for me, racing against the clock, I actually really enjoy. Right? Like, Fuse, right? You know, I was going to say, Fuse, like XCOM, I right? love that in some games like this. I don't know. It's just in an escape room, I feel like. I don't know because I feel like if you just sit back, I think that's kind of needed. If in you escape if, room. if you sit yeah, back sort of and, and and just relax bit, yeah. Yeah, and look at all the puzzles, they, I mean, you're gonna if you take that much time, it's either gonna take way too long, yeah, or uh, you're gonna just solve everything because you took an, uh, twenty minutes on each puzzle. Anyone who's that prone to true. analysis <laughs> paralysis, right? Yeah, I I would, would fall victim to that, right? Yeah, I, I like guess. the more intense. That's a whole different thing. Like, cause there was a couple times where we're like, no, that's gotta be it. Come on. We got to get moving. And I, I'm more against the clock like this, sure. the clock in the game, mm-hmm. right? Like I'm trying to get against, I'm trying to beat that clock. And I like that aspect of it. I don't know. I just, I'm just not the, I'm just not the kind of guy. Uh, oh yeah. So it's an eight for me. It's an eight for you. It's, it's an eight, eight for me nice. because I want to play more. I want to play more escape room in a box. I like going to escape rooms, uh, and I've done a few, and think they're a lot of fun. Yeah, Actually, uh, Bob and I one. went to one at a convention uh-huh. and destroyed it. <laughs> like we got it done so fast. They're like, "How did you do that?" And we're like, "Oh, it was blah 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 blah." Yeah, yeah. We like they were so impressed. We, I love escape. I'm rooms. looking forward to trying them myself. I'm not always that good at them, but for whatever reason, like we went into that one and it just 
it I mean, just clicked so quick. I just like the, the that kind of like logical puzzle solving aspect. And I love, yeah. yeah, I love solving puzzles. Yeah. Uh, so even the pu- like, so sure, not all, right. So sure, not all puzzles are created equal in this. There were mm-hmm. some that I liked better than others, That's but always going to be the case. Right, always going to be the case. Some of the puzzles were awesome. Yeah. And they felt really good when you solved oh, them. Oh yeah, man. There were so many moments where, like I said earlier, someone from across the room was like. I see something. Yes. Yep. Give me that card. <laughs> yeah. So there's some good. stuff we figured out. And like uh, what you could do with something like this we've done with other games is when we were at a convention, we had a big group of people. There was like 12 of us. So we bought two copies of the exact same game, split into two groups, and we each went after the game to see who could finish faster. Oh. Made a higher score. See, that, yeah, see, that kind of timing cool. is kind yeah. of fun. Yeah, that'd be cool. I, I don't know. The, the fact that the timing in the game is just to – because a lot of board games do this. They just say – um, oh, you you finished it this fast. You did okay. You did <laughs> great. I just don't care about sure. that type of timing mechanic, sure. I guess is what I'm saying. In XCOM and Fuse, it's timed because if you don't get it in time, you lose right. the whole game. Well, you do kind <laughs> of lose if you take too long. You abstractly lose. The game just says... You abstractly lose every single board game that you lose. No. So, yes. We've, so this this review will turn into a 40-minute argument here. about this. <laughs> it's, almost like, it's almost like the exact opposite to, to me of uh, The Lost in Time. Oh, oh sure, okay. sure, but I like the pressure of that. No, as well. yeah, Me yeah, too. that's what I'm saying though. Like, but like, if we don't finish in time, you're, you're dead. <laughs> right, right. You know. So, so overall, th- with this rundown score of seven on seven. average, which seven. is good. That's we, a yeah, good we actually rating. we actually never do this, but he's a normal host, and um, and he did play. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, hey Bob, what would your score have been? Probably about a seven. Okay, okay. Seven. So, so seven. the seven average will hold. Seven yeah, good. Yeah. So because Bob was in on the playthrough. Uh, it is by far high enough to say, "Hey, check these out." Yep. If you're curious, you want to drop a, like not a ton of money. I mean, I mean, relatively yeah. cheap, and you can find these all over the place. I would just try one. Yeah, um, like I again, while I thought this was good, I've seen a deckscape that has a sci-fi looking cover, and I'd buy it in a second. I would love to. I, uh, so, like, I like the system enough. I'm just thinking maybe I actually enjoyed this other than more than uh, a different company's version of exactly. a similar thing. Mm-hmm. I so I, yeah. so. Th- I because that would have been like a seven seven five for me instead of an eight. This one I like the way that it worked out pretty well. So yeah. I, it rates higher yeah. in a genre that I like. And I'd have to say, it, overall, I would probably give these things a seven or seven and a half. Sure. Um, I just I want to try more. Yeah, of them. yeah. I yeah. want to play more. Yeah. Of them. yeah. So, anyways, Definitely. this is uh, Deckscape. That's the whole series. This one in particular, behind the curtain. It was pretty fun. I had a good time playing. We had a lot of laughs. Yep. Uh, it felt good when we solved puzzles, and there was a lot of groaning when we missed <laughs> a few times. Uh, but yeah, so DV Giochi, uh, and it's one to six players, really about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. I don't know how many deckscapes are available, but there are plenty of them. And they, I believe that this is a line that they keep producing. So right on. Number seven. Yep. Rated seven. Four game rundown, seven out of ten. It's a good game. We liked it. So for the Board Game Rundown, I've been Tim. I've been Jeff. I've been Dan. And I've been Spencer. We'll see you next time.